learn to appreciate free parking guys everything in japan is literally so expensive parking everywhere at least like 10 bucks this is only the second time we parked for free and it's because we're going to the shrines <laughs> so they can't charge people for going to a religious place but we got a whole parking lot to ourselves which is pretty nice oh bro we damn near had a heart there's a whole ass snake here what the fuck? <laughs> that thing called out of nowhere Check this out, we're in a random parking lot. G-Wagon, Rolls Royce, another G-Wagon, and we got a Ferrari, Aston Martin, and G-Wagon. And the Transformer vans. These things are so sick, man. Another G-Wagon. We made it to Harujuku. The shops aren't fully open yet, so we're gonna go ahead and go around, check out the little shops like Uniqlo, Daiso and everything. Once the food vendors open up, we can go ahead and get some grub because I'm starving right now. It's so colorful here. There's lights flashing everywhere. Oh look, babe, the Daiso, McDonald's. Crate place. Check the display though. Japan food display game is on point. It's like this everywhere. Check out this Daiso though. It's like three stories. Yeah, let's go. Oh, the AC feels hella good. I like checking out the snacks. This looks interesting. I'm gonna get this. Tenryo batteries. Some Hello Kitty chopsticks. Very cute. What's upstairs? Car accessories. Maybe I can grab a phone holder. This is all they have for cars? Yeah, oh my god, they got my hopes up. They got this big ass air freshener though. <laughs> oh no, that's a sticker. <laughs> driving gloves. A lot of driving gloves. I'm actually super sad. It's day three and I still don't have a phone holder. So I've been driving with one hand and shifting with that same hand while holding my phone. It's tragic. We actually need to go to an up garage soon. No way, we got all those snacks. For 2300 yen, that's not even 20 bucks. We got street food combined with like some souvenir goodies. More souvenirs. Used clothing shop. Oh, is this like a thrift store? We should go in here. Some jean shorts. Oh, they actually got NBA teams here? I would think they have like some Japanese jerseys. Lakers. Oh, they got NFL teams too. This is pretty cool. Oh, vintage champion, babe. They got a lot of vintage champion. Oh my god, it's $200 though. Oh my god, they have so much vintage champion. Is this all champion too? Dude, why is this so expensive though? This is like $100 for a crew neck. How much are these jeans? Oh my god. $150 for these jeans. So this is less of a thrift store and like a vintage consignment shop. Should we go upstairs or just stay here? Nah, this is too expensive. <laughs> All right, won't get anything. Can I wear this? Oh yeah. This looks like you came out of the 70s. Pet paradise. Pet paradise. Oh, they have a kimono for dogs. Oh my God. That's fire. These dog beds are pretty cute though. Look at the line for the crepes. Okay, we go the line. <laughs> oh my god, this line is actually huge. There's so many different ones, I don't even know what to get. There's ones with cheesecake, we got strawberry, we got ice cream, we got lemon, frosting, everything. We even got savory ones down below.
finally got our crepes. I got this strawberry cheesecake and cream, and she got the, what is it? Strawberry Nutella and custard. Okay, try it. Mmm. Is it good? It's so much better. All right, bye Harajuku. We are all done. We got our food in and we got some goodies to bring back home. So now we're about to head over to Studio Ghibli. Yes. And how far, that, how far is that away? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. I'm so tired. And then after Studio Ghibli, we're gonna do something that I bet you guys are so excited about. We're going to an up garage for once. So I'm super excited for that. Look at where we are. We made it. Studio Ghibli Museum. You guys are not gonna believe this. I got us tickets for the Studio Ghibli Park and we just got here and he said this is the museum, not the park. And the park is five hours away and our reservation is in 45 minutes. Oh my God. He said we have to take the bullet train there. Show them, show them how far it is. What to do without tools or with those? Oh my God. I'm so sad. This is literally sold out everywhere and I booked this like a few months in advance. I'm so sad right now. I don't even know what to do. All right, so quick update, Cheryl. It's still pretty sad that she can't go to Studio Ghibli, but that means that we freed up this whole day for me to do something. So we're gonna spend it doing car stuff, which means we're shopping for car parts for the R34, we're about to head to a bunch of up garages to see if we can find any steals and deals for this car. And hopefully we can, so then I can get some parts for cheaper and then ship it back to the States with me. All right, babe. <laughs> it's okay. Let's go do car stuff. <laughs> My very first up garage, holy cow. This is sick. I'm definitely gonna get front row parking. Oh my god, this is actually so sick. Look, and there's an S15 just chilling right there. Alright, let's see what Up Garage has to offer. Oh my god, this is so freaking sick. Right away, we got CEs, good specs, 9.5, 40 offset, 28 offset. For, that's like $1,500, that's such a good deal. Let's see what else we can find. Some NKs, Model 7s, some Advans. Can we find any more fire? Oh, there's wheels over here too. Oh, these are like the truck wheels. Oh my God, for you off-road boys. This is such a good deal. Off-road 57 DRs for 1500 with wheels. This is so sick. Okay, I think that's it for the wheels. Let's go upstairs. Here's their shop where they change tires and install parts if you want them to. I'm literally a kid in a candy store right now. This is so sick. I've been watching people go through up garages for months now. So I started planning my trip to Japan. So this is so cool. Holy cow. We got a bunch of exhaust systems. Oh, a cat bag for an R34 right here. This is so dope. A bunch of exhaust, HKS, Fujitsubu, BRZ rear bumper. Ski boxes. Oh, uh, we have some springs over here, some coilovers, HKS, all types of coilovers, R34 stock struts, more HKS coilovers for an FD, GC8 coils. 
Oh my god, this is so sick. Olin's, what car? Oh, it's for a Porsche. We're not gonna buy any coils because we do have a sponsor for the R34 build, so we got that covered. Stock parts, this is for a GTR. Head units, oh, gauges, D5 gauges. We got brakes, stock calipers, rotors. Arms, control arms. Ooh, do they have any control arms for an R34? Doesn't look like it. Strut bars. It's not a lot of R34 parts today. Oh, this is the headlights and taillights. Let's see what they have. Anything yeah, cool? They do? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you looked through them already? No. <sighs> Dang, nothing for the R34? We got front grills over here. There's a lot of just normal car parts today. There's a Modelista front lip, an S15 front bumper. FK8 front lip, FD rear wing. I'm literally keeping my eyes peeled for R34 stuff. We got a BRZ leg sport duck bill. This is pretty dope. And it's not bad too, that's like 250 bucks. They go for like five, 600. Evo wing. They got a huge hood, what is this for? An R34. But your boy does not need a hood. Oh, we got seat brackets. Oh my God, do we have? Any brackets for an R34? These are so expensive if you get them. No, Mazda. Dang. No R34? <sighs> Sad. We got a BRZ trunk with the wing on it. Ooh, steering wheels. The steering wheel section is looking real slim. We only have this Nardi one and this is about a hundred bucks. It's kind of decent. This is kind of decent actually. No other aftermarket ones though. Turn signals. Oh, here we have the seats. Oh my God, that is so cheap. SR3 Ricaros for about 300 bucks. Oh, babe, these go for so much in America. Evil 9 front seat for about 250 bucks. Oh, Ricaro Confettis, SR3, about 350 bucks. This is about 700 something. If only they had a pair of these. It's kind of nice, it's like leather. This is a super nice seat. A thousand bucks for this one. Just one? Yeah. Oh, crap. These go for like 1800, 2000 new though. Oh, another Ricaro confetti. How much is this one? It doesn't say. Are these matching pairs? Whoa, this might be matching pairs. No way. If this is matching pairs, I might pick myself up these. They're clean too. No rips. And this should be 300 bucks. Whoa, hold up. Okay, let's put them side by side. Let's see if they're matching. Oh my God, this is actually so clean. It just needs to be washed a little bit. Okay, is there someone here? I gotta find out how much this one is. Will this fit in the R34, you think? Should it not? Like, to transport. Oh, no, 
you need to take out your seat. You think so? It won't fit in the back seat? Maybe it will. But even then, you would have to take it out anyways. We can't ship it in the car. But we can bring it on the plane. I want this. Okay, we just got the pricing for this one. It's literally just a tiny bit more. I think that might be like 30 bucks. So I think I'm going to get this set. The only question is, can I find rails for it? I really got to start searching. But this is literally so clean. So together, this should be about like $650. But in the States right now, they're worth around $2,000 to $2,500 for a clean set. And this is pretty, pretty freaking clean. I'm taking this for sure. It's official, your boy bought both seats and I got the rails coming soon. Toda went ahead and ordered that for me, so it should come within a few days. So for now, I'm gonna leave the seats here so I don't have to carry them in my car and have to cram them into my tight ass hotel room. So I think everything worked out. I'm so hyped. This is the first up garage we went to and we found freaking gems, 700 bucks for both Recaro's SP3 confettis. I could not be happier. We made it. This is the first restaurant we've been to to where no one speaks a lick of English. That's how you know the food's about to be fire. <laughs> they got a little touch screen. I think we can order food on here. Yeah, we can. 120 yen for two of them? No way. 120 yen? That would be like less than a dollar. Y'all, they have snail. I love me some snail. I'm gonna have him try it first. More than gladly. That's fire. It? It's sweet. Whoa. I've never had snail that's sweet. Whoa, this is good. Every single station has a hot water tap and then we have matcha powder to put it in. Oh, that's sick. That's so sick. Mm. Mm. That was so messy. Mm -hmm. That was good though. I hate raw scallops, but I'm gonna give it a shot since we're in Japan. Babe, it's actually good. It doesn't taste like scallops. He, left, he didn't let me finish before he talked. I was gonna say, babe, it's so good. So it looks like. This and is... they gave us an extra piece. Oh my God, never mind. It's just that big. <laughs> This is fatty salmon nigiri. Oh, oh my god, this huge. is hella. Cheers. I don't like that. Look at how much stuff just came out. We got taco, which is octopus, seared salmon, tuna, a different type of tuna, and then her cucumber roll. Cheers. Hella soft. What? Soft. Oh, I thought you said hella bad. I was like, no, oh my god, good. I said it was good. We just ate all of that sushi and it's only 3,100 yen. That's like $22. That's insane. Just so you guys can see how expensive parking here is. We were out eating for like, I want to say like 40 minutes. Let's see how much it is. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Eight bucks. That's, that's not bad at all. It's usually way worse. Like that should have been like 2,000 yen. So that's like 15 bucks. But now that we're done eating, we get to continue the search for car parts. So we're going to another up garage. It's about 40 minutes away. And this one should be bigger. This one is a pretty decent size too. I think this is the same size as the last one. But let's check out this R34 real quick. GTR front end or just the front bumper. Add van wheels. Big wing, awesome bride seats, those are sick. Front mount intercooler. This thing's pretty nice. TEs, ah, oh, these are a little overpriced though. 
a full set. That's like a little. Oh no, that's not bad. Twenty five hundred. Eighteen by ten and a half plus fifteen. Oh, these are hella good price. Uh, is it five wheels? What size are these? Oh, 17. Yokohama Advan Racing RZ 18 or 17 by eight and 17 by nine. And it's like under a thousand dollars. More Advans. These are about a thousand dollars. 18 by eight, kind of weak spec though. Oh, CR2 pieces. These are 20s though. This is for the VIP boys. 20 by 11, 27 offset. That is about, oh my God, that is so cheap. That's like 500 bucks for the pair. Oh, and here's the other pair. Dude, that's like 250 bucks. Some 19 inch rays for dirt cheap. This is like 320 bucks, 19 by eight. That is not bad at all. Okay, steering wheels. Is there anything worth looking at? No. Dang, we are running dry on the steering wheels. Whoa, 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 what's this? An S2000 steering wheel for about like 280 bucks. Whoa, this is a, I think it's an EK9 steering wheel for about 400 bucks. We got some Junction Produce stuff for the VIP boys. Check this out, they got brand new S15 Nismo carpets or floor mats. They're like 800 bucks though. That's so expensive. And then we got Evo Brembo's. Hang on, look at this. BNR 34, V-Spec, brand new Nismo box. What is this? Could be something good. Oh, it's a cluster. Please tell me this is a cluster. <laughs> oh my god. It's a brand new R34 GTR cluster. Dude, how much do they want for this? Cover two zero. Oh hell no. They want like twelve hundred dollars for this. It's like 1800 new, but dang, I thought it'd go for way less. They got a whole bunch of S13 control arms. These are all brand new in the box, so we got D-Max everywhere. D-Max, Up Garage brand. Dang, if only these were all R34. Your boy came out with a phone mount and a Nismo shift knob. Since Cheryl said that my, my shift knob looks too boo-boo, I had to get another one. A few moments later. Out of all the things that I thought would happen on this trip, I did not think we were gonna get pulled over. And I just got pulled over freaking twice. But the good thing is, right as they pulled me over, they asked to see my license. And right as I showed them my international driver's license, they're like, okay, you can go. <laughs> but we got pulled over once because we went into a bus only uh, area, which I couldn't read Japanese, so then I just sent it. And then another time, uh, I was trying to turn right, but there was hella traffic, so I was just stuck there. And then he pulled me over for that too. So two different cops, and they, didn't, they, they weren't even on cars. They were These, both walking. Yeah, they, they were both on foot and they pulled me over. But we're free, we're not locked up, so that's good. All right, boys, we're gonna end off tonight right here. Today was such an interesting day. We ended up not doing what we planned out, but instead we were able to shop at Up Garage, so that was a plus. And we found steals at Up Garage. I've been watching tons of videos and everyone has been saying they're, they're starting to upcharge a bunch, but today was proof that you can still find some deals. So hopefully sometime during this trip, we can go to a few more Up Garages plus uh, a few more car shops to see if we can find any goodies for the R34 before we ship it back to the States. But yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. Make sure to go down below, hit the like button. Let me know what type of content you guys want to see for the Japan vlogs. And I'll catch you guys in day four of Japan vlogs. Peace out.